is up guys and today we're gonna be talking about nba rookies with increasing and decreasing value through what we've seen in the rookie season so far but if you like my content and you like this video please like and subscribe and we're gonna hop right into it okay guys so today we're gonna be looking at rookies you know their value going up and down now there are some rookies that obviously are playing great such as louis markinen and ben simmons but Right now, their play has been pretty consistent. There's not too much fluctuation, so they're not really going to be on this list. We're going to be looking at guys that are really taking the game to the next level or just, you know, are playing really well and people that are either are just cold right now or, you know, the game is decreasing. But in the rookie season, I don't know if that too much exists. It's going to be more of a hot and cold type thing. And we're going to start it off with Josh Jackson. Now, Josh Jackson, he was the fourth overall pick in the 2017 NBA Draft by the Phoenix Suns. And, you know, at the start of the NBA season, really... You know, he wasn't that bad. You know, he started off his career with 11 points, and then he had 12 points, then 12 points, then 15 points, then 4 points, then 10 points, and he got off to a really good start to the season, you know, from what we expected coming out of a rookie. You know, he was shooting pretty good from three. He was shooting pretty good, I would say, decent from the field. But, you know, he had a decent, you know, November. He had some good games, some bad games. You know, one game where he scored 20 points against the Detroit Pistons. But it was definitely very inconsistent. And even right now in December, it hasn't been looking that good. I mean, he just finished the game two days ago where he went 0 for 7 from the field. The day before that, you know, he went 3 for 14. And he hasn't really been able to break 10 points more than, like, twice. So, definitely, you know, his value is going down a little bit. But this is a guy that I wouldn't expect too much offense from, and I wouldn't be too worried about this guy because he's getting a lot of value from his athleticism and from his defense. You know, he was known as a defender coming into the 2017 NBA draft, so he's definitely a guy I expect a little bit more development with. He's getting 8.9 points per game. He's definitely going to have a decent-sized role. He's getting around that 20 minutes per game most nights, so I think in a couple seasons, Josh Jackson will be just fine, but in, all, and just in reality, from what we've seen in the beginning of the season to right now, his value has gone down a little bit as far as the rookie season goes. Okay, guys, so next, we got Donovan Mitchell, and he absolutely had to be on this list. I mean, the man right now is averaging 17.8 points per game. He's leading all rookies in stats. That's absolutely incredible. And, you know, in the past, just the past couple games, I mean, if you go look at his game blog, you know, a couple nights ago, he had 32, then 12, then 26, then 31, then 21, then 41. He's definitely showing that he has a chance to be a very, very premier scorer in this league. And when you compare those numbers to his first couple games in the league, while we're not knocking him for his first couple games, but, you know, he started the season off with 10 points, 2 points, 2 points, 19 points, then back to 2 points. There was a lot of those 2 point, 3 point, you know, 4 point games, but if you look at, like, the last 20 games, the only time he didn't score more than 10 was once against the Chicago Bulls, where he had a bad night going 1 for 10 from the field, but ever since then, he's really gotten his efficiency up just from every spot on the basketball court. He's been shooting really well, and he's shown the ability to get really hot and go off for games like 32 points and 41 points, and I'm really excited to see what this guy can do. I definitely think with, you know, Gordon Hayward out of there, they might have found their next offensive go-to guy, and when you have a great defender like Rudy Gobert on that team, you surround, you know, Donovan Mitchell and Rudy Gobert with some nice young talent. This team could really be pretty nice in the West in a couple seasons. Okay, guys, so next we got Jordan Bell, and he's one of my favorite rookies to watch just because he can really dunk the basketball. He fills the stat sheet with just highlight dunks. I don't know if you really can fill the stat sheet with those, but in the past week, he's been doing pretty well. He's averaging 7.7 .7 points, 4.7 rebounds, 3.7 assists, and he's definitely got a bigger role than the start of the season. I mean, through most of November, through most of the beginning of the NBA season, there was a lot of games where he wasn't even touching the basketball court. He hadn't even scored more than 10 points until, you know, the beginning of December. But in the past week, he's playing pretty well. He had a 16-point game, an 11-point game. He obviously is going to shoot great as far as efficiency goes because he's a guy that's getting, you know, those wide-open dunks, things of that nature. He's an energy player, and he gets a lot of value from his defense. I mean, the guy's a six foot nine guy who can play the power forward, play the center. You know, he's a really raw talent right now. He's not going to be able to spread the floor for you, but man, he can play defense. He's got a great mentor in Draymond Green, and he's got athleticism out of this world, and I think he could really be a really nice role player for one of the best teams in the NBA in the Golden State Warriors, even for this season. So I'm excited to see what he does just throughout the rest of his rookie season, because you guys know he's going to have an extended year due to the fact that Golden State Warriors are going to be a team that's going to be going way into the playoffs, most likely this season. Okay, guys, so next we're going to have Dennis Smith Jr., and this one was the hardest put on because he's right on the edge because you can attribute a lot of his maybe downfall, not really even downfall. He's still playing pretty good to injury. I mean, he hasn't played in the last four games, 
but before that you know he was getting around that between 12 and 20 points per game which is pretty good for a rookie it's actually pretty good really good for a rookie and you know his efficiency really wasn't anything crazy he hasn't showed any crazy efficiency this early on but then again he is a rookie so i don't expect that but just like we saw with a couple of other guys he was playing extremely well to start the nba season which had me you know hyped up like crazy and it has gone down a tiny bit i mean in the beginning of the season Okay, that was bad. I mean, he wasn't playing that good in the very beginning of the season. You know, he was getting a couple games where he would get zero minutes. Maybe that was due to injury. Whatever it is, he would get like nine points, 12 points, shooting pretty poorly efficiency. But he had a pretty good November. At the beginning of November, he went on a stretch where he had 18 points, 16 points, 18 points, 22 points, 21 points, 50 points, 27 points. And then kind of after that, it kind of went on the dip down a little bit. I mean, he was shooting... You know, he went 3 for 12 in one game and got 8 points. The next game went 2 for 8 and got 5 points. The next game went 4 for 16 and got 8 points. And then he went up a little bit. But efficiency at the end of November was really not that good. And then obviously in the beginning of December, he had some injury problems. So I'm going to kind of count that out. But let's just be honest. Whether it's injury, whatever it is, his value is definitely decreasing right now. But I definitely think Dennis Smith is going to have a place in this league for a very long time. I like guys coming into draft like that that have a combination of really good skill but insane athleticism, especially around that six foot three to six foot four range. You know those John Wall, Russell Westbrook type players. I think Dennis Smith, his athleticism is almost unmatched at that position. You know as far as that age, you know age group goes right now. I'm excited to see what he does. I'm not saying he's a bust at all. I'm not saying he's trash at all. I'm just saying his value right now it's going a little bit down, but it's gonna go right back up. Let's be honest here. Okay, guys, so we got another guy that I really like. I'm almost like almost every rookie on this list. I just, I don't know. I guess I just kind of, maybe I was biased in my choosing, but I like this rookie a lot too, and that's going to be Frank Natalikino. We know he needed Dino, 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 but however you say his name, Frank Natalikino, however you want to say it, I don't care. He's from France. He's six foot five. He's a point guard, and man, he can play defense. Even from what we saw in the beginning of the season, we saw this guy could play defense, but he was making no impact on the offensive side of the ball. I mean, he was getting zero points, zero points, nine points, five points, really not making much of a difference at all as far as that offense side of the ball goes. But, you know, recently he's been playing pretty well. In the last week, he's averaging 9.5 points, 5.3 assists, and 1.8 steals. I mean, he had a 13-point game against the Los Angeles Lakers, which was his rookie high up to that point. I mean, in November, he was getting around that five to seven points per game, and we're seeing take that up a little bit a notch. So, obviously, he is not going to be doing anything crazy right now. He's averaging 5.9 points on the season, but he's a guy that can really play defense and due to the fact that you know, the New York Knicks expected to be getting more out of Marama on sessions, but they're not getting that at all. He's even fallen out of the rotation. He, those minutes are being replaced by Jarrett Jack. Someone like Frank Natalikina that we're seeing him step up a little bit more at a guy that we thought was really, really a raw prospect. Wouldn't make too much of an impact immediately. It's exciting to see. He's definitely, you know, he's getting good minutes. He's gotten like over 20 minutes per game in like the last six or seven games. Playing really well. Shooting good, you know, as far as efficiency goes. Shooting pretty good from three, being able to spread the floor, being able to make shots, being able to pass the ball, rebound the ball, and obviously, you know that defense is there, and that's it video, guys. Tell me in the comments below what you think. Who do you think is falling off? Who do you think is decreasing in value, and who's increasing value? But that's the video, guys. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.